So I was trying to figure out which pin was faulty. So I put a mirror in the back and I think it's pin seven. Okay. Okay, so I think I figured out which pin it is. So I'm gonna reach in with this little tool here and poke the pin that I believe is the culprit. So, um, so I've got a light in there and a mirror. You can see that this is the mirror in the back uh, reflecting off the um, pins, right? So what I'm going to do is probe the seventh pin. Again, this is a little difficult, but I'm gonna try to reach in with this little tool and probe, uh, so this has been number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and I think that's the culprit. So I'm gonna just reach against it and push. And when I do that, um, press against it. To the best of my abilities, that ought to uh, uh, bring back the screen. It did, but I couldn't catch the recording. Here I number the pins, there are 45 pins, and pin number 7 apparently is the one faulty one, uh, I fixed 22 before, but there are 7 that are not connected that I marked here in circles. Although I could have fixed pin number 7, and maybe the ones around it, I just decided to peel this coating and fix them all. So I'm going to try to uh, scrape that epoxy off. So it's not easy, but uh, let's try to see if we can. To remove most of that coating. I'm stripping it off carefully, but not an easy job because I don't want to damage the connecting tracks. Clearly that's the most dangerous part is not to, to avoid any damage. I think what goes on is some heating. This heats up a little bit. With time, it just expands, contracts, and I think that that's what's causing the disconnection. But... All right, this is what it looks like but not, not done yet, so I uh, still have some more. I think I found the culprit. Um, I know it's hard to see, but that's the one right there. Um, there, that one right there. It's got some, uh, looks like a crack joint. And when I exposed it, it showed um, that joint. So I'm still gonna work on all of them, but that's, I think, the culprit. Here it is, it was in fact pin number seven. Number six is also not that good either to the left of it. You could see finally I was able to uh, peel this off. You know, again, it's quite the, the job with the razor and trying to make sure that I don't damage the tracks underneath, but at least uh, I got this mostly to peel off and then we're gonna do the soldering job. Uh, again, one, one of them is really badly uh, corroded or at least cold soldered you could see it right here right there that pin all right again here I tried to remove all that plastic coating hopefully uh, that scratch doesn't cause a problem I scratched this line here but um, I think I'm gonna resolder uh, certainly the one pin that I think is a problem, but uh, maybe resolder all of them and see where we can go. Right. 
All right, here are the damaged pins, uh, definitely number seven, and there are a few more around it that you can see that don't look that great. So I'm glad I took off the coating to be able to fix them all. Here's number six, seven, and even number nine. They look like they need to be reworked. All right, here's the entire uh, uh, pins exposed without the coating. All right, it's time to solder. You want to be very careful. Gonna put some flux on there at that one location. At that pin. That's it. And then hopefully I think that got it. I think that pretty much did that one. Let's try to do the rest. This has the rosin in it, so I'm just going to I think this is working out pretty good. So I tried so many times to just do surgery on one or two or a few because I had that stupid coating on it, which clearly some moisture had to get underneath and damage one pin, but couldn't, tell, couldn't know which pin it was until I took it all apart, right? So in the end, um, this is the professional way to do it. Get this completely done. 
And that way it's done once and for all. Hopefully I didn't damage anything in the process. We'll see. All right, there it is. It looks good. Um, we'll see uh, how long it lasts. Hopefully for a while. And here's the finished job and it looks decent. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. And, uh, and so far it has not uh, given me any issues. So I've been driving it around for a few days.